one popping on? Uh -huh. no. That's exactly what they thought about the little white boys from Columbine. Oh. Hi, Swave, I'm from Armenia. Mm. It's nice to be meeting you. You think you rhyme nice, you all hype like the media. Fly by at night when I take flight. You die for a nice price, I am Expedia. I feel out of place like a white guy in Nigeria. But still you get A in the lives like rebels who reside in Liberia. I've been doing business with Al-Qaeda inside of Syria. You a hypoglycemic bisexual guy with a slight bulimia. You want to describe the type of virus that's eating you? Then open up an encyclopedia and find the meaning of spinal meningitis and if not, try leukemia. If that's too nerdy for you, then I might just let the heater buck. 45 light the fucking side of your beamer rub. Leaking with a driver's seat with your feet all stuck like you were glued to the side with some adhesive stuff. You get fried like peaking duck. I said the paramedics, paramedics won't even have enough time to come and clean you up. And if you drive away, get away and survive them and fight them and beat them up. I'll pull a knife, give you the meanest cut precise, like slices from Pizza Hut. You old, try keeping up. Turn the volume on the side of your speaker up. You rhymes are weak as fuck like the last time Method Man and Red Man tried teaming up. Yeah. Yeah. Your wife is a tweaker slut who cries she doesn't eat enough. So why would I feed her nuts like she hasn't been grinding her teeth enough? Oh, oh shit. Let me spit. Yeah. They say don't fuck with Sway because he knows karate. <laughs> he can exchange blows and go toe to toe with Rocky. He said to get rid of him, you need to hold the shoddy. I'm thinking, why? He's as old as Gandhi. <laughs> I bet one uppercut to your nose will probably fold your body like an origami and have you on the floor looking like you know Pilates with your arm broken trying to phone somebody. Oh. I'm the shit, you porter potty. <laughs> I'm the real thing, you a photocopy. But keep talking shit and being over cocky, then I catch you getting out of your bed to have your morning coffee and put the metal to your head like a rogo sake. Oh. I show up to one of your team homie after parties, Bye. acting like I'm happy. Team I want to have a glass of Bacardi. Yeah, then I'll brandish that package that's strapped across me and blow myself up like a half a Rocky kamikaze camel jockey. <laughs> Not even that faggot Iron Man can stop me. If I survive the blast, I'll still fight you with half my body. You still get your ass kicked, probably. <laughs> Will Swave Seva ever tell you his age? Never. <laughs> I mean, sometimes, sometimes it really makes me wonder. I think you hate me because I'm younger. I bet your favorite album ever created was by Aaliyah. Age ain't nothing but a number. <laughs> I said, I get it, you an OG, Swave, you G'd up. But you too old, B. You can't keep up. Never had Game Boy, used to play hide and go seek by the same old tree stump where him and his homies used to peep up and watch Adam and Eve fuck. <laughs> Papers. Chain smoking, my brain floating in space to a place hoping I make it to a state where I'm seeing that fucking face broken. <laughs> Saying you can beat me is another reckless accusation. I'm an Islamic descendant from the Prophet Muhammad eating baklava wrapped in bacon. <laughs> Too loud. 
But don't rhyme about my eyebrows. They used to provide Osama Bin Laden with his hideout. Uh, I mean, rhyme about eyebrows, you're 35 now. Do you know where real rappers' careers would be when they're 35? Wow! Y'all ready? Yeah. We're ready. You American faggot! Now after all the talk about how you would show up and never back out, Drake offered to put three grands on this battle to judge it, and you fucking backed out. Yeah, you little fucking pussy. I'm in front of DNA. Wow, no fucking way. This gotta be my lucky day. I'm about to tie him to a leash in case he tries to fucking run away. Yeah, the problem with you kids is that you lack respect. Go fuck me over on money right now and try to run out and I'ma snap your neck. Oh, oh, people know that backing out of battles is not part of my plans. But you and Cortez are always not. So not to my surprise, all your alibis came as a bunch of unauthorized scams. Shit, even if I met you in the middle of the East, you find a way to say that I ran. But I'm from Los Angeles. I'm proud to say that that's my land. In LA, we support our home teams. We got a lot of pride, but goddamn, the way you duck me in LA proves you'll always be more of a fan of the Dodgers than I am. Oh, you soft as hell, I'm not gonna lie, fam. And your battle with Rex, you almost caught the right hand from Dot Mob's hopping hype man. Yeah. When Rex made fun of your retarded mother, I knew you wanted to fight, man. But then they called the cameras off and you walked off and called it the night. Damn. Oh, sort of like when Eminem told you, lose yourself in a moment. You only get one shot in a lifespan. And you answered him like, I know, Slim, that's exactly why I'm gonna walk away from this mic stand. <laughs> your boy Cortez, act on some G shit. We're supposed to battle here, he backed out. Like I need more cash now. And that is some weak shit. He's a sneaky Latino, so I wasn't surprised when I came to find out that he skipped. He was already flaking like a tortilla, so as soon as I saw the guacamole on the side with the green chips, I knew it was only right that that bean dipped. Oh! It don't matter, but it don't matter. It don't matter what battle and league you actually be with if you're gonna be dumb enough to bite the hand that you eat with, at least be smart enough to cover up your tracks and don't leave prints. Someone call up Smack and tell him to cancel the field trip. Straps with the beams equipped like an active marine ready to damage a queen ship. Shells battering, the cannon ring until half of your team is seasick. The other half starts abandoning ship, panic and leap quick. In the same fashion, the hollow took his first chance to get green quit, took, turned his back on GT, packed up his bags, took the cash, and then he split, and the fact it hasn't been seen since. Whoa! See, it's all a story, it's all a story that correlates if you go back and you read script. I use this all as scenario to reference the battle and scene with, cause grind time is a ship, and this is as bad as the Titanic Sea gets, cause without smack you wouldn't be shit, but lost talent stranded across the Atlantic Sea without a raft to keep heat with. Oh. I got the long nose like x Fat. they'll make the back of your Jeep flip. I said, would you feel like we played the Xbox together the way I left half of your screen split? My guns are barely legal with magazines that'll make this team strip. That's how you like it, right? Come back with a clean flip. Yeah, I'm ready for the drama. Ain't no question marks. I ripped your flesh apart like Jeffrey Dahmer. Let's get it poppin'. I take the beef and steady chop it like a chef from Benihana. Speaking of chefs, shouts out to Cortez's mama because I heard every prime time East Coast event she be fixing poison pen and empanadas. <laughs> slumped over in the bed with Hoffa, holding hands with Hollow when we all know you were raised by Dutch Vega and Sarah Connor. <laughs> Look, the beef between us has been a never-ending saga. I'll leave you walking around with Bender's depressed persona when I sketch menace your necklace off you. <laughs> And I'm fretting your deadly waters. I throw your body on the stretcher, then let the chopper off of the boop 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 and drop your paramedic. Help. Yeah. I do this for my fans. You motherfuckers ain't shit to me. Are y'all kidding me? I fucking bum rushing the enemy. These knuckles will leave you buckling instantly. I fucking get timid and start punching you viciously. Uppercuts will leave your stomach in misery like muscular dystrophy. Oh. Just for thinking you could come online publicly dissing me. You can pop your fist while I'm still crushing you physically. This shit is child's play. You get eight sideways like the number infinity. I said. For artist development, you need artist development before you come on the blog and then mention me. I'll stop you out and make you a part of this history. Oh. Don't show me that because this is about to be the body bag of the century. <laughs> hold on, hold on. You motherfuckers ain't shit to me. They say karma's a bitch. For you it's probably dentistry because the part of your mouth that's missing is only a reflection of what's scarring you mentally. Ah! So, the gap, so the gap between your teeth exists merely as an object of imagery to distract you from the real gap between us and that's bars and delivery. Ah!
RCC, that's how we know you a fake dude. And now you want shock value in every battle, so you're going off this and Drake too. But if you're a real man, you would have just appreciate the fact that he's the one that fucking paid you. Bitch, why don't you just take the check? Why don't you just take the check and be respectful? Why do you always have to be so awesome of the rebel? I'm so disrespectful. You're not arson of the rebel? Man, I should fucking punch him. He didn't sound like he was mad at Drake because he wasn't here. He sounded like he was mad at Drake because he wants to fuck him. Like you, 
You copy what the G's do on the screen and copy what he might do. See, to them, you might be a G, but to me, you got a facade I can see right through. Unless you go to LA and bang on the bloods that be that move that will beat you till you leave eyes blue. I said you get beat till you leave eyes blue. But if I owe, I vow if it's beef for engaging it, I'ma let it ring, I do. See you, you ain't hot. You be talking about how you gangster. I'm Lebanese, you think you more like you from the block? Let's tell the difference. Okay, see when you and your homies were setting up the shop, barely getting popped through your nickel bags, sat checking and getting arrested by the cops, I was in Lebanon getting my ass beat by soldiers, whether I expected it or not. I, I got my shoulder busted in by a fucking soldier because I went deaf and I wouldn't talk. When he was in his hood, with his homies, and they were all oppressed with their little black race swag was next to them, like, damn, this shit carries 11 shots. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> Like damn, this shit carries 11 shots. I was 11 on dodging AK-47 bullets, three buildings away from watching helicopters drop. See, when you went to your first funeral, because you lost your homie Terrence and Rock, yeah. By then I had turned 20 and seen 37 of my friends and relatives get shot. See, I'll be damned if I ever swarmed America, tell me what I'm not. If my boys, if my boys moved to where you had a jersey, they think it's heaven on your block. If your homies came and lived with us in Beirut, they be all huddled up together in a flock on a broken radio like, Tell us the embassy and tell them we're from West. <laughs> imagination because it's easy to write but a real third world country or war zone is something that he's never seen in his life he doesn't understand what the feeling is like to have military beat you trap you in a cage and leave you without reading you rights he doesn't understand how it is to have f-16s bomb your region to the point you can't sleep in the night i was staring at my food for seven hours straight because i couldn't eat from the fright to watching a grown man crying in the middle of the street holding a piece of his wife do you know what it feels to be like you know what it feels to be like barely 13 barely even reaching the peak of your height but still giving an m16 and told to join the regime and go fight see i've seen it that's the type of shit you preach i've seen with my eyes oh yeah i did so next time you tell people to do that here's some real good advice tell them young kids in your hood they need to think twice and before they carry fucking heat, tell them to put themselves in our shoes for one day just to actually see what it's like. And maybe you spoiled piece of shit Americans can actually appreciate the meaning of life. Yo, 
Now this guy. Hold it down. Really has pink eye. <laughs> <laughs> Back off, because <laughs> I don't want to be in front of you, you freaking disgrace. You've already had it happen to you once. Don't make me rub some more shit in your face. <laughs> Here comes a guy whose career died a long time ago in the year three King of the Dot BC, <laughs> 500 grind times ago. <laughs> comes a guy from the bias coast who's about to get all of his stripes revoked like spider loke. See, you said this in one of the lines you wrote, that the doctors prescribed you the same drugs as Michael. Okay, that means you need all kinds of dope just so your fucking mind could cope. So no, if you had the chance to be the straw that broke the camel's back, you would use it to sniff a line of coke. <laughs> ever since career, ever since Mook, your career been on a declining slope. It's like Gary Coleman's last episode of Live. That's a double meaning line. If you take the name of his show title and the way he died and you combine them both and you finally know why this is his final stroke. Your fucking, your fucking music career is one big giant Heimlich choke. You should have known with an album like Monster you would wind up broke. It's all in your bio. Didn't see a single cell from it or multiply in growth since your career was under the spotlight of the microscope. What do I gotta break it down in a science course or something? <laughs> Iron divides into four different type of isotopes, which could explain why you spent half of your life on the shelf trying to blow, but iron won't. See, a lot of elements become radioactive after their half-life, but iron don't, which is why he's a normal iron, I suppose, because all the deals they had for him on the table folded and they never got iron closed. Yeah, that's why you're hanging by a, thre by a thread now on life support. You fucking got beat down in front of Mook till you couldn't fight no more, which makes you the worst type of whore, the one that gets fucked once in quits cause her vagina's sore. You should fucking kill yourself. <laughs> Plus you violated as far as the guy code goes. I provided you guided roads wherever you drive go. I gave you the guy code quotes. The greatest of all time, the Michael Jordan of this entire sport, a satanic shrine logo. I am the goat, the Messiah, the eye of Horus, the Ayatollah to your diaspora. I am your righteous Lord. I am your most high like a white boy's FICO score. I am like, I am like Michael Kors cause I could catch a big bag and still have a lot of time in store. Get it? A big bag and still have a lot of time in store? Yeah. I hit you with a thousand lines like a Miley Cyrus tour. This is what Michael. This is what Michael Moore would look like in his final form. I know you go. <laughs> I know you go reference the five days in Egypt, but trust me, this ain't that kind of war. This is more like fighting Thor inside of a lightning storm. I go psycho. Michael Myers with a knife inside of a psycho. Or psycho flow nice and good night, you bro. I'll put you to sleep in your own language. A Lila told you, yeah. This diet Roan. This diet Roan is gonna die alone. All it takes is one solid bar and he's a washed up body. Punchlines are like dial soap dynamo. You trying to fight a robot cyborg from BioCorp. They'll find you inside your home, beside your phone with your vital signs synchronized with a dial tone. Bleep. Who gives a fuck if NY is in no flying zone? I got Palestine inside my bones. I'll hit you with a rock in your face from a couple kilometers away. That's what I call reaching a milestone. Yeah. yeah. Go. You will die from my pen stroke like Death Note. If it's written form, we battle freestyle. I'll sun you off the top like solar panels. And I got more examples. And I got more examples. No matter how many menorah lamps you have, you'll never hold a candle to the levels of pressure I was born to handle. You know why? Because you don't have no souls or backbones. Bro, you don't even know your past, bro. Real Jews were Hebrews, black men who used to grow their afros. You guys are just a bunch of fucking random phony, phony Polish assholes who forged your passports and don't have a land of your own, so you come over and they jack yours. But what is it all for? Is it drilling offshore? Is it the land or do you want more? See, Arabs, we're peaceful, bro. You could come into my house. I invite you in, take the keys to my car, the garage door. I just want you to feel comfortable at home since you're used to occupying households that are not yours. I wasn't even supposed to be here today. Organic was trying to get him and Hollow the Don popping off. They had an investor from his side ready to put up all the guap. Made all these excuses at the end why it ended up falling off. But the real reason we did not see it is because Solomon's people couldn't afford what hollow cost. Yo. Pause my time. Do not cut me off, bro. I ain't anti-Semitic. Knock it off. 
anti I ain't anti-Semitic, knock it off before I go durka durka Allahu Akbar on them and start letting rockets off. <laughs> dropping bombs, dropping bombs and launching tomahawks. I got a lot of fire bottled up like a walking Molotov. I'm a blacksmith, I'll put an iron bar on the chopping block. I don't give a fuck if it's Shalom Shabbat or Shabbat Shalom. I'll punch you in the face and leave the glasses broken on the floor. Mazel tov. yeah, yeah. You battled Mook on smack and we watched you fall. You let a mark-ass brother outshine you, take your spot, you Paul Gasol. And that's, yeah. when, and that's when you got on some bullshit and you dropped the ball. Now everyone knows you was that one cat with a giant pussy in his lap like Molly Mall. It's the army of God. Think the ending of every Inspector Gadget, because all you saw was me putting a metal arm to this cat's head like Dr. Claw. Uh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know a little bit of Krav Maga, I'll fucking put your twist your father into an arm bar, knock his fucking yarmulke off, oh, fuck it. If me and Solomon brawl, I'm knocking out anybody involved. Boop, bop, and you bop, stand over your head like Alex Star. I'm off the hook with these hands, people call me Cabal. I move at light speeds like Vegeta, break my right knee off in your jaw. Fuck a gun bar, fuck a gun bar, I'm creative, I don't need one at all. I'll swing a fucking pirate to the Caribbean claw, cut you in half with it like a seesaw, send a blade flying clean through the wall, watch it come out the other side of the street and kill five people that weren't even involved. I'm a, I'm a fucking... I'm like an evil Peter Parker that delivers people karma with a side order of beef kebab for starters. Fucking with me's retarded like asking Sweeney Todd to be your barber. I'm a fucking, I'm an evil Tamil tiger gorilla fighter from Sri Lanka. Followed you to your job and I'm camped outside of your job and I can't wait for you to leave the office like Stephen Harper. Yeah, you think you can relate to Canadians more than me? <laughs> Bro, you are more pussy than a weekend concert. Yo, even a concert. <laughs> Even the concept of you beating me here in Toronto couldn't be more farther than the thought of Stevie Wonder being able to see his daughter. I fucking, I fucking, I fucking let the Glock sleep and put him in the arm bar till he stops breathing like Eric Gardner when the cops beat him. Pay attention, that's a double bar meaning. Pay attention, that's a double bar meaning. I mean, either way, you gonna die from arm squeezing. Yeah. And they hated us. They hated us ever since the World Trade got hit. And they blamed us with all this bullshit, but what the media don't say is this. How many of your people didn't show up to work that day because they claimed they were sick? Or the, or the Zionist banker who took out the insurance claim and then spit, split, explain to me this, how, how a national tragic event could make your people rich or, or how a bunch of cavemen in Afghanistan could penetrate the world's most sophisticated defense and have, these, and have these monolithic beams that are encased in cement all cut at the precise angle you need a building's foundation to slip. It's because you, it's because you motherfuckers orchestrated this shit and used the media as a tool to blame us to shit with, to blame us with or blame Mr. Witt, but it don't matter because you blame the desert for taking those plane flights, but it's clear as daylight that you staged that shit. Yeah. Right. Hold on. Huh? And you only have one ball. <laughs> I mean, it's all good, bro. Don't be mad because the doctor slashed your wontons and you can't get a hard on. You could still be the champ of any track you hop on, even with half your balls gone. You could ask Lance Armstrong. <laughs> you could still be successful, it doesn't change at all. Look, look, man, you could ask Tom Brady, dog. You could still make it in the game with a deflated ball. I know, I know. I bet that little ball of his at night gets lonely. Sitting in bed, he felt the trickle going down his leg slowly. Thought he pissed on himself, it turned out to be his right nut pouring out liquor for his dead homie. <laughs> Ball, he can't fuck with me. No, I'm not. Still got more. Look, look. This is the path towards the end. So listen and pay attention. Listen and pay attention. Because all your people ever did was scrutinize us. My people are true survivors and you use the media as, as a way to oppress us and generation after generation you try to euthanize us then we turn into revolution fighters but, 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 but what would you do if you was in the street seeing him kill women and execute their minors shooting a child in his back? How could you justify seeing a two year old with a tank on his back like a scuba diver? Poo, I like him. Poo. Who grew Al Qaeda? You grew Al Qaeda. You guys are fueling ISIS. This ain't no war on terrorism. This is a Zionist Jewish crisis. A bunch of fucking greedy bankers who have no value for what human life is. If you ever, if you ever see an Arab group of snipers, just know that's from weapons that you provided so you can, so, so, so we can, so, so we can kill each other and you can use it as an excuse to crucify us, but not now. Not now, I'm a flip out. Bro, who's the fighters? Who's the fighters? What am I doing? I'm losing my mind, bitch. Give me this shit, on the fusion lysis. I don't give a fuck what I'm gonna do, cause this dude's the nicest. Who's in fighters? Who's in? 
and a fusion tiger. Fucking it dropped off in a fusion tiger, and a fusion tiger. Barber station, and fusion tiger, boosting tiger, the stook of the stook and light inside of a furnace, fusion tiger. Houston, <laughs> Seth Rogen, fusion tiger, Adam Sandler, Adam Sandler, Stoosen tiger, Shaila Buff, fusion tiger, fusion tiger. ولكن انتو شايفين حالكم لانه الامريكانيين مدافعين عنكم ام سبير لابنيز يا شايفين حالكم لانه الامريكانيين مدافعين عنكم بس بس الفلسطينيين بتضلكم تتعدوا عليهم لانه ما في مين يردهم بس حزب الله بتضلكم بعيد عنهم لان كل ما تعرفوا حزب الله بيباشر نيك وعمكم اي رفيق كسمك اخو شرموطه بايري عم اللي خلق ربك سمك بايري يا فاكت اش فيل ان ذا yeah, that little shit about me not looking out for my homies was pretty clever. <laughs> when was the last time I seen Vicious? When I got him with me in the same movie together. Whoa, how about this? Yes. You talking shit? Yes. Well, I guess that's what you're supposed to. How about you tell them how Geechee, Danny, and Active were probably not going to be on this card until I forced you? How about we real talk talk about the real shit, how we did this to garner his power? How he made diva ass made us sit here and at his, stare at his faggot ass face for like 10 hours. <laughs> <laughs> listen up, listen up, flim flimsy hustle. <laughs> listen up, flimsy hustle. <laughs> Talking all that Arab shit. At least I look like I belong to my culture. When black, when black folks see you, they think you a cholo. When cholo see you, they think you a poser. Maybe because the homie looks like the 13th guy over in the front row on those homie figurine posters. In case, in case y'all haven't figured out what he's all about, he doing this to catch all the top tiers off guard and he's doing this all for clout. Type of dude that gives you like three, four months Writing his heart out and gives you like three four weeks before he calls you out and I'm gonna get to the real punches now I'm taking it easy soon y'all gonna see why it makes sense the real reason how he beat Geechee Oh, yeah, everyone thinks your win against Geechee was a fluke not me I know it was a carefully calculated sneaky little strategic move It's just the type of shit he do wait for you till you got a couple other battles booked and he catches you slipping in between the two And after I say this and after I say this this fake crypt gonna be singing the blues. I'm saying I'm saying I'm saying all these little shortcuts. What are you doing? All these little shortcuts you taking ain't gonna help you grow go farther because getting the best version of your opponent's the only thing that can help you grow stronger. But you want to hit people with these surprise one-rounder attacks to make it look like you go harder. Which makes sense. This faggot grew up in Hawaii because his whole approach was modeled after the attacks from Pearl Harbor. Look, that's the reason. That's the reason. Listen, you're a coward. That's the reason. That's the reason. I don't need no dirt on you. Because the dirt on you is your actual work on you. No one respects you. That's why Marv 1 freestyled some bullshit against you and they like twerked on you. You a fucking, you a fucking scavenger. You try to force people into these tight schedules to fit your little bullshit calendar so you can ambush cats while they're preparing for other battlers. If, if you didn't write the whole round out before you called out Geechee, that whole battle had to be Boston and Cali because that shit would have been a massacre. You know what rhymes, you know what rhymes with Cali smooth? The average dude getting an alley-oop, a watered down Charlie Brown, you claim a fame is hanging out with Snoop. Andre, Andre from, Andre 3000, you the biggest outcast out of anybody out the group. He wanted to ball up with us like Sonic the Hedgehog, but he never got any ring action because we always kept you out the loop oh! because we always catch you out the loop you a fucking crack city intern you used to fetch you used to fetch you used to fetch you used to fetch active you used to fetch active hold on hold on you a fucking crack city interns Used to fetch active snacks and juice, get AV his hats and boots, and make Dave on Campbell's soup. <laughs> you think you that nice? We've been gassing you. But you've been asked. This is your big chance to prove that you've been gassing. Ain't nobody coming back for you like the been gassing troops. You know what else rhymes with Cali Smooth? What? You being the real investor behind every single
a big matchup you do. Yeah, you blow your life savings to book a battle every time you have some loot. This faggot would actually shoot his own mom to get a battle with Mook. <laughs> Fuck your album. Big dog battle rap. Got me looking down on you like a falcon from a mountain view. Cali smooth, how come you can't see the outcome? You don't got an ounce of clue what you getting into. So this bout with you, it's about to be viewed as pound for pound the foulest move you can do without using one round to kick someone out your crew. And I would say that that's what I'm not about, but that's exactly what I'm about to do. You've been a, you've been a fuck boy since 2002. Flew out here from the shy town and started throwing up crypt signs out the blue. Hold on. You've been a fuck boy since 2002. Flew out here from the shy town started throwing up crypt signs out the blue. They ain't one of banged out with us can't vouch for you so if you want to translate that into some street clout that's a big ouch for you you talking about you fire off rounds i doubt you do you like half a gallon goods if he was half the leader he was and only spoke an ounce of truth <laughs> shit on our behalf there's a chain of command that's not how we move but since you're head in the clouds i'm gonna have to bring you back down and set up some ground rules you stepchild you from now on you only do what i allow you to because i'm the one with the star power this whole block hours Big dog with the haka pop cowards. You disagree? Catch hot showers from Glock powder. Fans writing you letters. Family members sending your mom flowers. I'll, I'll bust your top open with a pickaxe like a Fortnite clock tower. I can't believe after that round somehow y'all was intimidated. <laughs> this ain't even about punchlines. This is about you claiming Crack City your whole life without properly being initiated. There's a difference between being part of a gang and being gang affiliated. You think you're only? You think? I'm playing. I'm really saying what you think I'm saying. Because nothing you say has meaning when you say it. You said everything you're saying is green like Piccolo, and Piccolo's not even a saying. You see what I'm saying? I make authentic statements. This kid's from Chicago. I stake shit a stake can relate with since avocado don't got the bunker I'ma have to take you back to the basics all you, all you ever did was pay your way You used the express lane so less pain through your paper mate It's payola politics you pay for play You try to shortcut people on the road who really paved it Well meet the architect of the matrix agent Smith ain't saying shit today I'm saying this Before you run your lips though no, I'm the one that's bringing in this big buffet So you either eating with me at the table or you standing in the way Either way you gonna have to stand in line like everybody Else and wait for your turn to get the trick. Oh. Shit was spray. Oh, yaka. Tim McVay. What What part? What army you part of? The pink beret? You fucking Native American looking Nick Lachey, you my negligee. Get a, get a shit fish fillet with a nickel plated sickle blade. I'm sick of playing games with him. I split your face like a Chinese dinner plate because that shit was meant to break. You a pussy. Your heart pumps lemonade. And it's not even the organic stuff. That shit is minute made. Concentrate. And take this from me. Take this from me. Paying to get where you where you at now, don't make an MC. I can get you where you need to go. You ain't gotta pay me the fee. Cause for all those foreign jokes you were making, I'm about to show arm a rotisserie flame him so that way I can put you in rotation for free. Stop this man. Finish this nigga. You think I wasn't thankful for you putting together ether? Hell yeah, I was. I wanted to make you like a team speaker. I really wanted to make you the leader. I know you don't believe me and take me serious, because I don't believe me or take me serious. <laughs> <laughs> you told a black dude that was clearly black, you're a Mexican. Haven't you seen your complexion? You could have got the same reaction out of that crowd if you were standing on stage battling with your own reflection. Most people see his content 
Normally they're overly affectionate. To me his content is poorly directed and we just don't connect with it. So far fetched and out of context we no longer share no core resemblance. There's a difference between bridging together metaphors that are complex and rhetorical force penmanship. Grandiose and overblown out of proportion to give you the notion that he's going over your head with it. And then he's tapping at his temple like a Catholic Jesuit. Yeah. But what the hum they sleeping bro. But what the homie said. The crowd might react but what the homie said was some extra shit. Extra as in a bunch of unnecessary references that are only present at the end of the sentence because he needs something else to connect them with and because he has a chemical imbalance and can't stay in his element. You struggle to maintain relevance because you're irrelevant because your rap style says he is. He's always been jealous. You can tell he is. He's envious of his siblings getting ahead of him on some Cinderella shit. Yeah, that is crazy in the desert shit. And that's why we're here today, January 19. In conclusion, we came to see this weak bitch losing. Ten years in the game, only till today we've seen a trace of improvement. He began to fade away, started to pay his way through the tube so he could pave a way through the movement. Listen, he, that's the way that he moves, like a raging waters wave pool. He paid his way through the tube. And you've been, and you've been in the mix ever since like Rick Rubin. You had the will to spend paper for battles, and Danny Myers came and gave you the blueprint. They say, they say, if, they say wear it if the shoe fits. They say wear it if the shoe fits so you put on your furry boots like a prude bitch I was talking about how you do that and you do this snoop that and snoop this But somehow Somehow he seems different to the people that knew him before us dog was part of a crew of cartoons like blues clues and fucking I rebuke him I shoot through him like Duke Nukem or Kim Jong-un Nukem You gonna see this dude pass under his own roof like a GED student listen bro Talking about your music, your rap career here is useless. We don't want to see you use it, especially when your bullshit CD couldn't move a single unit. I bet the only reason Chopper Reed cut off his ears is so he can no longer hear your music. Ooh. And don't ever in your life dare me to do it. I'll put hands on this bitch so bad after this, he probably joined the Me Too movement. Yeah. Couple, get a couple of pink ears in a couple of years, he'll be so whooping. Yeah, they should cast you since you're an actor, part of the Avengers, as some type of hybrid, weird, street geek mutant. And I would say your rap abilities would be your superpowers, but that would make you Satan too human. Listen, this is the end. I'm a star, you a starving artist. You, you came here, put on your game face, and died regardless, but fuck it. You can say that you tried your hardest. Look, look, Callie. This type of shit I'm saying is personal to him. Shit beyond research. This is some real shit. This is the reason he's always been wanting to be around. He wanted to be the team speaker, wanted to impress us. He always came around and he seemed eager, and it was always the same shit. I'm on the silver screen now in the AMC theater, and every time he sees me, it's memories of Team Ether. <laughs> That's why if he said some vegan shit to me, I wouldn't have to rebuttal none of that shit he said to me either because no matter what he does, he will always be my biggest meat eater. That's how he's smooth. Shit is fucking over. I'm done. Yeah, I'm done. I'm done. You, you want to eat Disaster, let's go. Town business. Fight his head off. Let's go, bro. Let's go, dude. Now, first of all, back, man. You act like you don't have homies with you, too. Yeah, I got homies, too. What you talking about? Except the ones that are behind you don't look the same after fucking daylight marked them out. Yo, check this out. Yo, check this out. Check this out. Marked out, couldn't even bang your shit on him on daylight, on the little homie. Check this out, faggot. I made you, I made you a, yo, listen to this LSC shit. We made you a part of the squad and we seated you. Cause you from the soil, so being loyal, well, I felt like I needed to. But you never developed into this fully grown tree. Your roots covered in weeds with the bottom tier of seeds still picking all of your leaves from you. And all that leaves for you is me raking up what you leave when the season's through. He's 40, but now popping. He's a late bloomer. It all stems from greed. Every single thing you do is for you. Danny, you a GMO tree. Cause every mission you embark on gives us nothing but seedless fruits. I extended you, I extended you. I extended you to Olive Branch. 
I extended you an olive branch, but you said you didn't need me to. Couldn't even keep your feet planted and believe me, you ain't never been believable. That's why we got Geechee to keep the balance and make it even between you two. We even gave you, we even gave you, we even gave you, we even gave you, we even gave you a boost of self-esteem that you needed. Yeah, but you wanted to be the leader, which is leading you down this dark path, and now we just watch back as your ego slowly eats it. You could even, could you even handle a real defeat? Like, really? Have we ever seen you fall so bad you lost half of the people that once believed in you? Only to make a comeback, only to make a comeback and drag those very same people underneath your shoes, the irony. Cause right now, it's exactly what you seen me do and you did it, even though you had more of a reason to. When we started the LSC movement, it was to challenge them as a team unit versus the Eastern crew, but couldn't keep you on the same page. Cause every other week or two, Danny had a battle in like a week or two. It's like, it's like, talking about me supporting him. How the fuck am I gonna support you? Every other week or two, he has a battle in like a week or two. How the fuck am I gonna be there to support you when you was on some Tekken 7 shit and I was at the deal with your secret moves? Bitch, that's when we knew. I talked to Beasley, you talked to Beasley too. What the fuck? I talked to Beasley, you talked to Beasley too. Always dealing with those secret moves. That's when we knew you were self-centered. You only center yourself in a scenic view and it's feeding you. Listen to this. And, and, and for y'all that are paying attention, that's the that's real pen game, not the type of shit he do. My definition of good writing is different from what it means to you. For you, it's what the punchline means. For me, it's actually being meaningful. Listen to this. Listen to this. Listen to this. You the GOAT? Oh, you got more history than me? Well, let's, well, let's give y'all a battle rap West Coast lesson. Let's take this back to how it all started from the beginning. It was like 99. You was probably one of the only one out of us out here spitting, right? That was two years after the Rap Olympics in 97, the Eminem was in, but by then it was already finished. And the foundation, the IE, the 909, they had the foundation. And cats from LA every other day would go up there and they'd kill it. Every other night, cats like otherwise would go through a dozen guys, but she was nowhere in attendance. You was nowhere in attendance. Scribble Jam was a year prior to that, and somehow you also wasn't in it. WRC's two years in a row, he never entered. The pit, the hub of our city, you just never visit. The basement in the 818, even that you wasn't with it. Grind time came and went and you still ain't represented. So all we got left from you is your Fight Club footage, which to me is like O.J. Simpson because it's still up in the air whether you ever did it. And this is oh. shit. This dude never fucking did his life, bro. Oh, I'm talking about your life. I'm talking about your life. Watch this. He got hypothetical bars. That don't work on me. Talk truth to your life. So it's still up in the air whether he ever did it. But, but in his defense, let's analyze that for a second, right? You said out your own mouth, you moved out to New York in 2000 to battle rap for a living. <laughs> you make this shit up, bro. You said you moved out to New York in the year 2000 to battle rap for a living. So if you wasn't shit over here and never became shit over there, then where the fuck was you winning? See, like, don't you get it? Even if you was on Fight Club, that don't make no difference. You want us to crown you as one of California's own legends when all the work you put in was benefiting out-of-state folks and propelling the East Coast engine. And you still the same kid today. And you still, and you still the same kid today. Who you kidding? Fuck you mean South Central, bitch. We was at Project Gloat all the time battling when we was only children. I guess that wasn't y'all, Lane. Like the Pentagon plane, he can't even provide evidence that he was ever in the building. What you looking at right here? What you looking at right here? You wanna talk about my shit? I took this shit from the front, Danny. To mainstream way past the limits. What you looking at here is a plastic gimmick. Another surrogate movie. I embody everything that he isn't. Listen to this. You can check my files. Real work. You can verify with analytics. People trying to harp on my, my fucking losses. But after 103 battles, I still have the highest body bag percentage. And through the ups and downs, I still... I still... I still have... I still have the highest body bag percentage and through the ups and downs, I still got more fans than critics. If you have been through half this shit, your bitch ass wouldn't last a minute. I was down on my last leg till I got back in it. Lifted myself back up like Popeye and popped open the can of spinach. I know, I know you was expecting a haymaker. That's why Dan don't get it. 
Yeah, he likes haymakers and punchlines, but forgot the brand is image. Yeah, you got the battle in spirit, but what good is a haymaker punchline if it don't come with a fucking personality with it? And that's, and that's, and that's the real reality check for me. Cause your whole style built like the most random accessory. You come with a battery in your back and personality sold separately. Oh! Fuck out of here. How much of a, how much of a, how much of a, how much of a fucking clout chasing cat can you be? You want me to respect all your West accomplishments when your best West accomplishment was standing here battling me? Yeah, you yeah, yeah, he's part of our gathering, but you're the weakest branch on our family tree. You're six years, you're six years older than me and call me your OG. Can't tell me? Damn! You can't tell me shit. You can't tell me shit I do not know besides the fact you do not know me, but since you into science, I'm gonna use the rest of this round with science to break you down slowly. Y'all ready? Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Talk to him. This is gonna be slow so y'all get it. <laughs> now scientists ponder, does the universe exist if no one is there to bear witness to its appearance? They say technically the universe is not there if there's no one around to perceive it. Mm. Now this is what I mean is, you said you body drag on from Rough Riders. <laughs> Let's say I actually believe it. Let's say I, you didn't dream it. Let's say you didn't dream it. The question is, did you really body drag on if there's no one else on earth that could confirm that they see me? This is the question. They say, they say to see it, you gotta see it to believe it. And that's not just a saying, it comes from a deeper meaning. That's a scientific thesis, deep rooted in one of the universe's deepest secrets. Because you said you won those battles. How do we know it's a fact? Since there's a 50-50% chance it's not, the outcome of that reality is now split both in the halves. Now for something in this universe to be definite, two particles would have to go from a point of superposition to a point of collapse. That's when the moment becomes definite. If nobody knows it's happening, if nobody knows it's happening, they don't know how to act. Let's take a cat, a little kitten. We put it in a box and we close it. We put it in a box and we close it. Now whether you leave the box closed or you open it back, listen to this, hold on. You take, you take a kitten, you put it in a box with a probability of it dying at a 50-50% chance. Now, whether you leave the box closed or you open it back, you decide whether it's dead or alive by merely the observational act. Even if you know it's in there dead, if you don't see it with both your eyes, then technically it never died. And that's Schrodinger's cat. Now you, now Danny, you, now Danny, you, you are the observer. You are the observer. Damn. Splitting the universe into two parallel straight lines, forming a reality where your opponents were both dead and alive at the same time. What I'm saying is in layman terms for you to understand it, if the impact of your battles didn't cause a butterfly effect or a chain reaction, in a way it didn't happen. And I know science can't give me a straight answer. And since science can't give me a straight answer, I'm not about to dig my grandfather out of the grave to ask him. The point is, in this battle universe, if we can't look up your work online in a YouTube search, then I'm gonna have to revert how they came up with this conclusion first. Only one solution works. That all these battles Danny talking about happened in his parallel universe. <laughs> I believe the parallel universe is a lower vibrational field you spent most of your career confined to. I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe, I believe in the multiverse. I believe in the multiverse. Billions of different realities we might choose and the one we're living in right now is the only one we've survived through. Now in this universe, I just schooled you like my fucking son. So before I'm fucking done, I'm gonna give you a preview of what's happening in the other one. <laughs> you don't wanna squat, Danny. You little fucking body brittle. You small and little. You ain't John Gotti, is you? You seen what a battle with Gotti gets you. Battle with me, you gonna be like Pamela Lee, cause you gonna lose half your shit soon as the Tommy hits you. I shot you. I shot you. I fucking shot and clip you. I 
I'll put a shotgun to your ugly ass face and I'll pocket check you. You from South Central? Oh, nah, you never claimed to set or to pop the pistol. It's obvious you aren't official. You artificial. Dog, not marketable. Stop acting like you got a problem with me because I don't got a problem with you. But if you want the issue, then it's reservoir dogs. I'm tearing off cartilage tissue. Which means, which means I ain't just gassing on you. I'm dumping the whole gas can on you. Dog, dog, I hit you with an atomic missile. Dog, I hit you with an atomic missile. Fucking in the bush ready to pop out like Bonnie's nipple. Fucking. <laughs> I'll, I'll have you walking around with war shrapnel lodged into you. Vice script around your neck, I will Homer slash Bart Simpson you. Drop kick you. Drop kick you. It's a fact if you snap, I'll twist your top off. Uh, I'll soda pop grip you. You getting dog walked. You getting dog walked. This is a pit bull versus a freckle faced Dalmatian. I will on the spot rip you. Yo, shred you. Shred you apart, spread your head and your little ass neck apart like a small shit to get blocked, y'all. When the cross hits you, a barbecue your body with Auschwitz, you then carve into your carcass with a large ginsel get blue on contact. A hops in you, hostage you, a hops in you, a hops in you, hostage you, hospitalize and hospice you. Better check your wife before a Jefferson Price caustic you. An A war. A war. Hey Ward, I don't have no punchlines for him because I'm already disgusting enough that I'm on the same card with you. Oh, man. <laughs> Organic back me to not hit you. And I ain't gonna ruin another. And I ain't gonna. And I ain't gonna. Hold on, we on. And I ain't gonna ruin. I ain't gonna ruin another king of the dot venue. But disrespect, I will not sit through. I told you if you touch the wrong button, then the animals come out. I will Dr. Robotnik you. I will. Back off. I will Daniel's son, I will Daniel's son, chopstick you, I will eat Honda, ha 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 hit you, I will ha hit you, what the fuck is wrong with you? This is my ship, I'll make you walk the plank, then I'll mop the deck with you, I'm Johnny Depp to you, which means I got a pair of brass knuckles from the Pirates of the Caribbean, got a metal hook for you, a fucking mythological kraken, an octopus, all you gonna see is these big arms swinging through, which means I'ma catch a body as soon as I drop this ink on you, body stinking. Body stinking and a body linking. Pardon me, gonna miss him too. And when the ink dry, the film done. I guess it's true what they say. You lose some and you win some. You was the shit in your parallel universe, but you was never shit in this one, bitch. Guaranteed I'm on your ass. Yeah. I heard that these niggas been plotting and watching. I heard they been looking for me. I, looking for I pull up fresh, all white like dope. I look like a whole key. Like, a whole like a white piss all on my back, little homie. I feel like a real for real. Like I changed the number to all my phone because your whole cal.